become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody uh this is super exciting for me today i've got uh, these wonderful Reg Park magazines, these Reg Park journals, what you are seeing here, <laughs> I know this is amazing, I know your eyes immediately go to Reg Park's wonderful front lat spread on this health and strength magazine, but I mean, this is what I am talking about. This is the true gold, no disrespect to this wonderful cover. This, what you are seeing here, is a small collection of Reg Park bound journals. This is so rare that oh, it's just so wonderful. Uh, I found these thanks to my friend in England, Mark. Mate, you are a legend. I've never said that on any of my videos, and I should. Um, you know, you've really helped me over the years, and, and I can't thank you enough for directing me to this uh, wonderful collection that I now proudly own. I don't believe that even uh, John John may have the very, very first edition from 1952. I've talked about this in the past, but the Reg Park Journal was actually initially called the Mr. Universe magazine right after Reg Park won his very first Mr. Universe in 1951. The name of Mr. Universe only ran for four issues and then it became Muscle Man also in 1952. That ran for a little longer, maybe about 20 issues or so. And then came after that the Reg Park Journal which ran for, oh, I believe, since 1953, four, five, six, seven, and eight for six years. And in total, there's about a hundred in total of all these Reg Park journals, be it Mr. Universe, Muscle Man, or Reg Park Journal. And of course, after that, it continued with Man's World, where it fused and continued as a NABBA publication, I believe, even after that. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, this is so rare. I want to talk about it first. Um, and I do have an announcement to make, and that is that uh, John John has agreed to re-release the Reg Park Journal, and uh, we're going to try and get this out as an ebook as soon as possible. And uh, I'm working with him in that regard. It's a wonderful, wonderful endeavor to bring back his father's original uh, magazine. Now here we have. I'm just going to show you quickly some of the covers. Because, uh, you know, these are just beautiful. The first one, of course, had Reg Park on the cover. But um, these just got better and better. Even as almost as an homage to Steve Reeves. His second ever cover is featuring Steve Reeves in all his wonder and glory. Look at that cover. It is beautiful. It is wonderful. It is what the silver and golden era is all about. Uh, it's just beautiful stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Got to be very careful. Clarence Ross. So he's got all the greatest names here uh, for for us to enjoy. You know, got some wonderful, wonderful magazines. Is all I can say from this period. We've also got here Spencer Churchill and many others. So that was the actual very first four Mr. Universe magazines. And after that, the title changed to Muscle Man. Once again, highlighting. The massive and phenomenal Reg Park. As I mentioned before, the title name, uh, the, the name of the title changed throughout the years and continued to change then to the Reg Park Journal. We have Juan Ferrero uh, in another uh, magazine here from 1952. And finally, another wonderful cover of Steve Reeves. My cat's being a bit of a nuisance. But I'll continue. Oh, quiet. Um, <laughs> it's my crazy cat. Uh, anyway, then we've got, of course, Reg Park Journal after that. The Robert and several others. These bound, bound versions are beautiful. Steve Reeves on the cover there. You can see the, the ad already for Steve Reeves' movie, Athena, one of his very first movies. And we've got others. I just want to show you a couple of more covers before moving on. If I can get to them. The magazine's got bigger and bigger by the year. Here we go. You've got another one of Steve Reeves. You know, you get the idea. 
these are wonderful magazines and um, yeah I can never get enough of them I can never get enough of them they are beautiful and yeah I mean I won't show you all of it the point um, but yeah these are wonderful and very rare Reg Park journal bound edition of magazines here we have health and strength with Reg Park on the cover looking you know looking like a statue made out of marble polished to perfection which belongs you know next to the Roman Colosseum for God's sake that is beautiful that is what a physique is all about you know that's classic that's golden era bodybuilding for you we also have other health and strength magazines here and then loose Reg Park journal magazines and these will be much easier to create as ebooks we've got a whole selection of them from 1958 here with Reg Park as well we've got Jack Dellinger on the cover another one with Reg Park another one of Steve Reeves here I think that's when he won the Mr. America that is exactly when he I didn't even look at the title there I just noticed his the trophy in his trunks that's how I know then we've got this maybe that foxy girl is but she looks amazing Juan Ferreira is definitely impressed and then we've got the same one I just showed you of Steve Reeves Bill Pearl on the cover uh, I forgot this guy's name already there's Reg Park in the middle anyway and I think that's Oscar Heidenstein that is Reg Park again John Isaacs um, which was uh, John John's uncle uh, Lynn Rubech and Monty Walford she looks absolutely gorgeous the blonde no wonder Monty's smiling from you know grinning from ear to ear who wouldn't be <laughs> and here we've got Billy Hill Ken McDonald George Eiferman with his wonderful wonderful front lat spread Timmy Leong and what's wrong with this no nothing's wrong with it Reeves again on the cover Leah Robert teaching the light dumbbell system it looks like to a young boy and Henry Downs who later became I believe Mr. Britain and more some wonderful magazines here from a wonderful period of of course the golden and silver era of bodybuilding I hope you've enjoyed this look at these very rare Reg Park bound magazines and other Reg Park journals of course the loose editions hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please give the video a thumbs up again I'm super super ex excited happy super content at, um, at the acquisition of these bound magazines if you've enjoyed the video again please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the golden era book and leave me a comment thanks for watching uh, to support the channel please if you can donate via bank uh, donate via paypal uh, that's how i actually can can get many of these things and then uh, present them to you and share the information found within uh, you can also donate to my museum exhibition campaign details are given below it's going to be on an exhibition on the golden and silver era of bodybuilding uh, yeah also head to my website for open books and courses reg park journal as an ebook will be available soon so that's pretty exciting news and um, what else of course become a patron if you wish to have access to photos articles and books on the history of bodybuilding <clears throat> you're gonna find a lot of stuff on my patreon account basically it's a library of bodybuilding information hope you enjoyed the video this is the golden era book I'm saying Bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.